Look, that's why I flew your hand. That little thing. Are you serious? Yeah. So this little camera right here cost about $200 more than this camera right here. The Insta360 3X. Now, I purchased the Insta360 1X a little over a year and a half ago for literally like a hundred bucks on Facebook Marketplace. And then after checking out the quality and actually seeing that I use this so much on shoots, I decided to upgrade to this one, which is the X3. If you're looking to get into creating 360 videos or capturing your moments in 360, this is a good entry level because it is affordable. Um, like I said, I found it on Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. That's why I bought this camera because I didn't want to go out and spend all the money on this guy right Right here when I wasn't even sure about Insta360 cameras or 360 cameras in general. So being able to have a more affordable option like this as an entry point, um, it won me over. It made me spend the big bucks on this guy over here. When you're a duck living in Texas, where do you go when it's this hot? I mean, I know a lot of them try to hide out in the shade, but that really... I mean, it's still super hot out here. So the Insta360 X3 is gonna give you a bigger sensor. You're also gonna get higher megapixel photos, which means overall, you should get better low light quality out of this camera and overall just better image quality because of that bigger sensor. Now, I wanna test that out and see if it's actually worth the upgrade if you have the first generation because cars are passing by. And I'm not sure how much of the audio is ruined so i'm just gonna keep talking to you guys and stop until the cars go by so whenever i was looking to buy the insta360 x3 i was actually really curious about the image quality in comparison to the first generation the one x looked around on youtube and i didn't really see very many side-by-side -side tests so that's why i want to make this video so that i can give you guys a side-by-side -side test to see if it's worth upgrading to this camera solely off of image quality So I'm curious to what you guys thought. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, obviously the test that we just done wasn't really like realistic for 360 cameras. You're not gonna sit it on a tripod and leave it most of the time, unless you're doing like behind the scenes in a studio, which is what I do actually do a lot. But most of the times people are buying 360 cameras to actually move around quite a bit. And so I do have some tests doing that. But what's crazy about those tests is I shot them over Coming up on two years ago, and I never did anything with the video, I was reviewing the Insta360 ONE X. And so now <laughs> I can actually use that footage and show you guys what the footage coming out of the Insta360 ONE X looks like if you're going about vlogging. What's up guys? So today is gonna be all about Insta360 and I'm gonna be attempting to vlog solely on this camera for this entire short one day trip I'm about to take. All right, so for this first test, what I'm gonna be doing is doing all manual on this camera just to see, I don't know what that looks like. I'm not gonna be using any external microphone for hopefully most of this video because you have a microphone on both sides, one on the front and one on the back. And that being said, I will be recording with my Rode Wireless Go 2 in case something just kind of goes bad. Hey, somebody's This plane is very, very tiny. Sorry. Okay. What the hell? 
<laughs> He's making me responsible for the <laughs> Sure you did it right, man? <laughs> I did, I, I'm pretty sure I did it right. <laughs> That's the tiniest plane I've ever been on, and I literally cannot hear a thing right now, but that was a lot of fun. So today, I am traveling to Arkansas, or just got to Arkansas Hot Springs, picking up a car for my wife. So that's very, very exciting. So this is my friend, Jack. He was actually in my wedding. Say hello, bro. What's good? I didn't know you got a new car. Uh, I did. It's kind of trash. Look, that's why I flew here in. That little thing. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Look, <laughs> they're so tiny. How many people were on the plane? Like, uh, eight. You can only fit like eight. That's crazy. Yeah. So I actually did go back on Amazon and check out the pricing to make sure that I was correct about the numbers. Original, like the One X, is actually $2.99 on Amazon. And then this guy right here, the X3, is ranging for about $4.75. And you can find it a little bit lower on some deals, like $4.26 is the lowest that I see it on Amazon. So you are looking at about, you know, on the, on the high end, about a $170 difference. And so when it comes to quality, in between, between these two I think that I would say my final answer is it's definitely worth the money to go ahead and get the X3 a lot of the shots that you've seen the colors were just like more accurate that's the problem with the one X I feel like I did everything I could with the LUTs that they provide directly from Insta360, even shooting, you know, directly like standard or dynamic, shooting in those other higher settings. I still wasn't able to get the best colors out of this camera, um, but with this one, it came with ease. I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you own an X1 and are you considering the upgrade or are you just considering in general upgrading to an Insta360 camera from not having a camera at all or maybe from your iPhone? I think that this is a good addition because you do get that screen so you can see yourself when you're vlogging not even to mention all the accessories that you can actually attach to here I have a cage coming in today from small rig and I already have an adapter that goes right into this USB-C port that allows me to connect my shotgun microphone and then the cage will allow me to connect the microphone to the camera and attach it and now I can go around and get much better sound quality than you guys saw in the examples on this one right here so if you are interested in some color grading and you want to see how to actually get some of the images out of this camera that look a little bit more cinematic or a little bit more natural I can make a like a color grading tutorial if you guys are interested in something like that but if you guys are just interested in color grading in general I definitely recommend that you check out this playlist right over here.